at Chef. It was actually wonderful. You know, when I met you, I was actually doing a, a write-up on Plan B tapas just in general, yeah. and you were featuring the wild side menu. And me, I was very excited. And uh, the reason I really wanted to feature you and bring you, you know, meet with you today was because you were the one person that not only got me to try Python, but I absolutely loved it. The question is really, where did it all begin? During high school, uh, during my high school year, um, I would come home, watch the Food Network. It was my favorite thing to do when I get home from high school. Mm -hmm. I took at least one hour or two just like looking at the Food Network channel and my alternative high school offered culinary internship program and I just sort of took advantage of that, of that and I interned in my internship at Brasserie Eight and a Half and West Restaurant with Tom Valenti. Tom Valenti was is the executive chef at West Restaurant so he sort of mentored me, his, his staff. Um, I just fell in love with cooking and Food Network just brought me to that you know, to that place, you know, so mm -hmm. it's, it was really awesome. Um, it was a great feeling because I love cooking, I love the flame and mm -hmm. the cutting and it's just like, it's so, it's, it's amazing, yeah. And that's why I just sort of wanted to um, do this uh, for the rest of my life. Uh, just cooking the ingredients uh, that was available to you, mm -hmm. fresh herbs, fresh vegetables, the meat, the cut of meat. Uh, so that sort of uh, drove me into this industry, the hospitality industry, so yeah. Actually, you can definitely see the passion really lighting up yeah. on your face when you talk about it, which is why I love coming in here. I mean, every single time you yeah. impress me with some amazing menu items. Is yeah. New York City, you know, main goal for you? What? Uh... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to be here as long as I'm needed here. Um, I'm 100% devoted to this place and making this place work. Um, so it's, um, I definitely, uh, you know, look forward to the journey and see where, you know, where, you know, where this brings up. Now, did you have that aha moment, this is my life's mission, this is where I'm going to be for the rest of my life? Well, during <laughs> college I studied um, business management. Uh, I did not want to be, I, I did not want to work in Wall Street or any of those, uh, I wanted to have something more that, has, that I had passion for. And my passion was for cooking. I came straight into the restaurant industry and started to do a lot of research on food. I was self-taught chef. I never attended culinary school. I was mentored by Tom Valenti and Scott Fabricio. And uh, so, it, and that sort of brought me to where I am right now. That's fantastic. You know, you always hear the big debate is, you know, is culinary school really worth it? There are these great chefs that come out that never went to culinary school, but yep. then you have those people that are, you know, like me, diehard culinary school fans. Yep. But, I mean, it's amazing what you accomplished and, you know, where you are considering, you know, right. you had that formal training, but it was mainly in the kitchen. Now, do you feel that gave you a better experience? Because I know even in culinary school, you use a lot of the things, but, I mean, on-the-job training is really where it's at. Do you it's feel that's made you who you are? Yeah, uh, it's interesting that you said that because um, in culinary school, they would teach you the same thing that you would be if you were to do an internship in, res uh, uh, in a restaurant. Uh, the restaurant will start you off not on the saute station. They would start you off with prep. Mm -hmm. uh, because the chef wants to test your knife skills. Um, at West Restaurant, Tom Valenti's place, um, he made me slice a lot of garlic. <laughs> I was chopping garlic. I was cutting carrots, celery, and whatnot. I did some like, you know, sauteing, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like major. And I was like, what am I going to stop with this prep stuff? I wanted to go into more adventurous stuff, you know, and. He said, you'll, you'll see later what I mean. And he wanted me to perfect my knife skills. So, but yeah, I mean, the best experience is working in a restaurant. And Now, um, was the wild side menu, was that the Plan B tapas concept, or was that your concept, or maybe a little bit of collaboration it was, uh, it was It was Plan B's uh, sort of main focus. They wanted, we wanted to create something sort of unique and people mm -hmm. to try uh, new things on our menu, uh, like you know, python sausage and bull's testicles, like, uh, which I love who <laughs> has bull's testicles on their menu, like, yes. you know, so it's, a, we wanted to create something unique for people to try, mm -hmm. something exotic. We've been, we've changed our bull's testicles, it's a brand new, uh, we, we're doing Ooh. it okay. doing totally different now, we're braising it um, in wajillo chilies and, um, and cream and roasted bell pepper. No, that's wonderful, we, you know, when I first had it, it was, you know, in garlic and olive oil and some really great sauteed right. spinach, not going to lie, I almost wanted to eat the entire thing, but uh, I also had python in front of me, and that uni butter 
um, that sea urchin, I yep. guess it was a flatbread. Oh my goodness, that was out of this world as well. I could not believe it. That was like one of my favorite things. Yeah. But uh, so with the wild time menu, you've changed the bowls testicles. Has anything else changed? Have you added anything or? Uh, we've added uh, recently um, venison on our menu. Wow. Okay. Um, we just sort of pan roasted with uh, a bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and there's thyme in there, and we base it with a little bit of butter just to give that intense Ooh. flavor because. Venison has no fat. The loin piece has no fat, so oh, okay. you need to give it some support there and some kind of so. flavor profile. Uh, how do I come up with this stuff? I yes. don't know. Um, I just imagine <laughs> stuff in my head and just like, okay, let's put this together. Let's see how it works. Mm -hmm. And if it works, it works. If it not, we try something different. So that's how I think. Uh, food is like sort of just <laughs> always uh, in my head, like constantly, almost like 15 hours a day. I think about food. The rest, I, I feel like that's you know part of you comes out in the comes out in the menu. And I know now I've met you in person, but you know for other people that you know will come into the restaurant and they'll see it. You know, do you, I mean like you know after meeting you, yeah. it's like there's just something about it that screams you know yeah. like Jonathan. I don't know. Is that, uh, uh, is that yeah. where you kind of wanted to take the menu? Is really kind of put right. You in I it? wanted to. Um, I wanted to definitely put me in there and sort of uh, you know tell people this is my flavor profile. Mm -hmm. You know. It's, Sort of, uh, you know, something that is exciting. They also have a brunch menu that they just recently launched, and seven days a week, absolutely unbelievable. And I might add, they are very big portions. The French toast was one of my favorite things, and I really don't order French toast when I go out for brunch. I don't know. Yeah. Never been my thing. Any kind of you know bread or pancakes in the morning, but I would absolutely order that again. And then the Spanish breakfast, my right. goodness, oh, that was <laughs> that was insane. Especially when the, the mushrooms were hiding on the bottom, and that was like. Yeah. And also, when I thought the tomato that the chorizo was tomatoes, and I kind of took a bite out of it, realized it was this big hunk of chorizo that was absolutely. Fast. I know you said you were mentored um, in the past, but do you have maybe a chef or a teacher or a family member, someone that just really kind of inspires you, mm -hmm. keeps you going, or mm -hmm. someone that was your inspiration to really just kind of you know take your career to this level and, you know, in the future beyond? Right. Um, well, uh, my family definitely uh, is very supportive of me and sort of keeps me going and motivated. And uh, a majority of my friends as well, um, who are chefs, um, sort of just get me going, you know. Um, so it, it, it's definitely a hard industry, but, you know, it's definitely well worth it. It's, it's just what I love to do. This, that's why I got into this. But that's great that you know you have that group of chefs and that network that really can keep you going. I'm looking on the menu and I see shrimp heads. Yeah. What do they taste like? I don't know. Tastes shrimp like uh, it, it tastes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it, ha shrimp heads have a lot of flavors in them. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, sauté them simple, shallots, and garlic, and herb oil, mm -hmm. with a lot of chili um, because it's called spicy shrimp heads. So yeah. you want that spiciness, mm -hmm. uh, that succulent. Uh, when you suck the meat out of the uh, brain, it's just amazing. Yeah. The brain? Uh, the brain. Uh, oh, the shrimp <laughs> brain. I said brain. I was like, oh my goodness, what? <laughs> so, uh, I, and one of my other favorite items was the squid ink paella. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love that. That was. I'm so happy you kept that on the menu. Yes. Uh, we, yeah. Uh, it's a it's a seller mm -hmm. on our menu. Oh, and moose. Yes, oh, and really that is sort of a deconstructed of uh, uh, mello prosciutto. Wrap melo, but with serrano, Ooh. Spanish, our imported Spanish serrano. I know what I'm having next time. All right, that's what's really hard about your menu. I'm not gonna lie, chef. I mean, <laughs> I was trying to write reviews and one of the everything is my favorite. You know, yeah. it's great. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love that about Plan B tapas, but I can never pick a favorite dish right here. Yeah. So can't wait to you know continue to follow your career. I think it's just you're you know you're on the you're on the path. I love it. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Every you. single time in here, I'm amazed. Yeah, so, thank uh, you. Thank you again for you know taking the time to meet with me today, Chef. Absolutely. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you.